Hello and welcome to our Origami Kawasaki Rose version 2 video. So this is just another version of the Kawasaki Rose. You'll start with a square of origami paper, color side up. Make a valley fold along the east-west line as we're showing here. Then fold the bottom edge of the paper upwards about one centimeter. And again, crease that well. Now unfold that last fold. We're going to fold the right edge of the paper across to the left, as we're showing here. Next, we're going to fold just this corner upwards to the last crease line. Just like this. Now unfold that and flip the paper over. Next we're going to fold this left edge over to the right. That will just be the width of that corner. So fold that over. Crease well. Then unfold. Now we're going to unfold the entire paper. And we're going to take this line, this mountain fold, and fold it up and to the left to this valley fold here. So just like we're showing here, Fold it across like that. And then crease only the lower part of the paper from the center to the edge. Then unfold that. Rotate the paper 90 degrees. And we're going to repeat the same thing. So this fold here is going to go across to this fold. And we're going to do that two more times. Alright, next we're going to recrease these two north, south, and east-west folds to make sure that they're mountain folds. And now for this small square right at the center of the paper, we're going to recrease the edges so that they are also mountain folds. So we'll go around the square, start with one edge, just like that. Rotate the paper and do the next edge. So third edge, and then the final edge.
Now your paper should look something like this. And what we're going to do is mountain fold along the east-west line. As we're doing that, we're going to push in the center of the paper, that little square. And the paper should collapse nicely like this. But we will fold this flap across to the right. Next, we're going to fold this flap on the left side down, as we're showing here. Then flip the paper over. We're going to unfold the top layer so that we now have a square. So we're back to having a square after all that work. And ultimately what we want is a cylinder because the rose has kind of a cylindrical shape. So the question is how do we go from the, the square to the cylinder? So that's the next step and probably the trickiest step. So first flip the paper over. And we're going to take these creases, these four creases we made earlier, and we're going to recrease them as mountain folds. So crease all the way along the length, like this. Okay, now rotate the paper and do that three more times. Great. Now flip the paper over. It's not that flat anymore, so we're starting to get to where we want to be. Each of these four edges that we're pointing out here will form the top edge of the rows. So those need to be folded into a circle, and you can't do it all at once. You have to go in steps. So first we'll fold Take one edge and fold it over onto the edge right next to it. And then repeat the same thing on the opposite side of the paper. And here you're not trying to be perfect, you're just kind of pre-creasing the paper, making it a little softer. So let that unfold. And then rotate the paper 90 degrees and do the same thing for the other two edges. So this edge will fold onto its neighbor. And do the same on the opposite side of the paper. And again, it will not look perfect. So that's fine, we're just trying to soften up the paper. So let that unfold. Now we're ready to fold this into a cylinder. So first we take one edge, fold it onto its neighbor. Now we're going to hold those two edges together and fold them together onto the third edge. And you may have to adjust the cylinder as you're going here. So now that's starting to look like a cylinder. And we still need to curl those three onto the fourth edge. The easiest way to do it is to put it in your fingers like this, those three layers, and then curl the fourth one in. Just like that, and you'll have a cylinder. That's kind of a tricky move, so let's look at it close up. So again, you take one edge, fold it onto its neighbor. Hold those two together, fold them onto the third edge. 
put those three in your fingers and roll the whole thing onto the fourth and there's your cylinder. Now the inside, the back of this will be a little messy, so you're going to get in there with a finger and flatten out those pieces, crease them. Make sure the cylinder stays together. At this point you can tweak the top a little bit as well. You notice we're always holding the cylinder so that it doesn't un uncurl. Not bad. All right. So that was the hard part. So let's proceed with finishing up our rows. So what we're going to do for each of the four edges is to fold them up. So we'll start with this one. We're not going to fold it all the way up. Maybe leave a centimeter or less. And you may need to get inside with your other hand, complete the fold like this. fold the piece next to it and ultimately these flaps will overlap and that's how the the cylinder will stay locked so we just fold up the next flap by the same amount as the first one flap we just made into the pocket formed by the first flap and smooth out the bottom edge as we're going. Okay, now for the third flap. Tuck that in. And then the fourth flap. Now the flap of the the fourth piece goes into the pocket formed by the first. And as you tuck that in, work the bottom so it's circular. Gradually push the that flap in. If one pops out, just pop it back in just like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is curl the petals. So we'll start with the lower row of petals. We'll curl this guy down like this. Take your time here, you don't want to rip the paper. Then move on to its neighbor. And keep going till you've done all four of the lower petals. Now we'll do the upper petals. So again, four. Curl them over with your fingers. You can use a bamboo skewer or something like that to help you. And 
once that's done, you're done. There you have it. You're completed. Origami Kawasaki Rose version 2.